What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today uh, we're gonna do a quick overview how to set up your surround sound system with a BioVision uh, of any kind, most kinds, post BioVision 11 and how to set it up properly because I uh, still see a lot of people doing it weird, dealers doing it weirdly and uh, so yeah let's get into it. Uh, all you need uh, just to start laser measure or tape measure if you have somebody that can help you granted if your speakers are far enough away like either of these and uh, a phone with a db app doesn't need to be super duper accurate but uh, i'll get to that later yeah uh, let's get into it <music> So one of the first things I would do, uh, and I <coughs> recommend this for everybody, if you have uh, new speakers like 28s, uh, or like I do over here, like BLAP 50s, uh, go and tune them uh, first in your preferred seating. I'm in, in the, the seat I'm uh, normally in for watching movies, uh, either that or uh, this black chair over here. And then uh, with the 50s, with these speakers, uh, you uh, have the little microphone that you uh, put around well for narrow mode you're supposed to put it around your head so you know where in 3d space it is and then you can do a wide mode and there's varying ways of uh, how to do that but start off with tuning it uh, for the the basics first for the 28s for these speakers over here it's uh, a bit more easy it's uh, a bit more standard room compensation if you will and you run it through the app uh, i'll get that on video uh, er, uh later but uh it's it's really simple you just try to make your room as quiet as possible and then uh you let the room compensation go and you get the whoop just like the blap 50s and uh it's a one-time thing per speaker and then you're done um after that uh you uh go into in this case uh the bno tv app uh easiest in my opinion is through uh the remote and uh then you can uh start uh, setting things up if this is your first time it'll prompt you to set it up uh in a more basic uh menu of what is where what I've seen several people do is that uh, for the Harmony and for the Eclipse, for instance, and maybe some Avant uh, type setups as well, and potentially BioVision 1155s. It's technically a three-way speaker in the in the TV, and uh, so you have uh, more or less a, a, a tweeter and a mid-range, and then the sub or the low frequency speakers on the back painting down but you also have speakers here and uh there uh, more or less there on in, in the panels and um they are usually uh, named uh bio vision harmony left center right Normal default setup is that the side speakers on the TV, as in the left and right, are uh, off. Especially if you have more capable speakers off to the side. Reason being is partially that um, they are, if I'm not mistaken, two inch full range drivers. So they are capable and it may not sound like a lot, but they're fabulous on their own. But if you have 50s next to it, to set those to left and right would only be detrimental. So only uh, normally the, the, the center stack is on with the speakers on the back, <coughs> which uh, gives you the best center because it's more or less in the center of the, the picture. And uh, it's quite powerful. You can do other things with it, but I would not suggest, for instance, what I've seen before is if you have the center speakers on, then people put it either uh, right and uh, left uh, speaker and then what would you put the the in my case the 50s on right like i've seen setups where those are set as wide and it's like wide in the most surround sound mixes is so far off to the side it's not really front left or right anymore and you're 
uh, upscaling the music and or sound, uh, which is not ideal. So, um, yeah, I would suggest not turn those on and, uh, uh, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, let's get into the TV a little bit. Um, let me flip you around because working in mirror image is a bit weird. <laughs> so here we are in the menu. Sound modes is a bit irrelevant for now. Uh, if you've already done the basic setup, uh, you'll go to speaker group and you'll have a startup mode. Uh, for startup, I would check first go to speaker roles. And this is where uh, BioVision Harmony L, which is the, the left speaker over here. Then right is the one over here. And then you have uh, BioVision C, which is the middle stack. And that also uh, attaches to the one in the back. So I have it off, off, so off, off, and then center. I don't know if you can hear the, the white noise. This is... Uh, the white noise is there to let you know which uh, speaker is playing and you can easily uh, check uh, by the sound which is coming out where, uh, obviously, uh, what is what. Then you have BeerLab 50 left front, which is left. And I still bloody love these covers. BeerLab 50 right. Then you have uh, right back, which is over there, 28. Then you have, oh, I did that wrong. That's, <laughs> that's left, that's right. And in my case, I have a BioLab 18 left surround over here, right behind the couch, uh, a right surround, which is over here, which is rather lovely. And in my other cases, I have BLAP 17s, which are there and there. And these are uh, left surround and surround heights. Uh, so they are all set correctly. Then we can go to speaker distance. In terms of speaker uh, distance, uh, I have this, uh, I hope my cats don't wake up, <laughs> this laser measure. So it, it just shoots uh, a laser. And uh, if you are certain you're on the right spot, you press that. So that's from where I'm holding it, the, the measure to the ceiling. And uh, in this menu is where you can set the distances. So what I do is uh, I take this laser measure and for the left speaker, I go from my right ear because with your right ear, you can still hear if something is from the left. And from the right speaker, I go from my left ear about here. Partially why I do this is because you never sit like uh, <laughs> a boarding school schoolboy in the same place. And uh, the reason you do that is you get a sort of virtual box uh, around your head uh, of what is left, right, uh, back, surround, etc. So uh, I'm going to hold it up now to uh, my right ear to the left speaker. E. Camera's in the way. E. And I aim at the tweeter. I did change my setup a bit. So there you see 3.2 meters from where I sit and it's set at 3.3. .3, so it's wrong. Then we go to the center, which I more or less do from the top of my head to the center speaker, which is about there, which is 2.7 meters. Uh, so either my couch moved or uh, the TV moved uh, a bit. I think it's actually my couch thinking about it now <laughs> so set uh actually it's 2.738 um yeah i run that down then right front from my left ear to the tweeter over there 
Oh, come on. That is 3.169. I will round that up. That's close enough. And then <coughs> uh, left surround is from uh, roughly my right ear to the the feel up 18 over here. I did the tweeters. Let's see what that says. Well, I actually moved away when compared to when I had my BLAP 3s there. And so on and so forth. Uh, I won't bore you with the rest, I'll just set it uh, uh, properly. And there we have that. Now we go to speaker level. And this is a list of how loud every speaker is, so. And this is still set on the old way. But what I would advise to do is uh, this, I don't know if you can hear it now, the, the sort of white noise. Uh, that's a constant noise uh, that is equal in, uh, sort of input to all the speakers. What I would suggest is you you set it to whichever volume you usually listen to movies to or whatever it is you like to watch. Now you can probably hear it. And then uh, you take a dB app out on your phone and uh, you measure how loud that is. So in this case it's 60, then we go down to the center speaker, and that should be 62. It's a tad loud, so we select it, go a little bit back. And you actually try and do that where uh, your head is roughly at, uh, because of obviously it needs to be equally as loud as where your head is. Uh, the relative difference from the uh, accuracy of the app doesn't matter so much. It's just that the because you, since your phone doesn't change, it just means that they're all uh, the same on your phone, which means they're all the same on the actual weighted uh, calibrated dB app or db meter and uh that's the uh, the way to do it so i'll go through this uh once more and we'll get back to the next settings after this And that is that, and uh, they're all, in this case, around 59 to 60 dB. Uh, they, they flip a bit, and it depends on slightly background noises, uh, but that's all right. Uh, in terms of uh, if you have a BLAP 50s, 28s, this is the next ones. Your speaker preset is uh, a, a direct uh, relation to, uh, you can make narrow is default one, then wide is default two, and then uh, you can make extra, and uh, you can name them uh, either one or two, or you can also make them a three, four, five, six, whatever. Uh, so that is a direct correlation. So currently this is default two, which is a wide preset. So if you go to one, you can see the tweeters go narrow, and it also changes the presets in uh, the speakers. So if you go back to two, you can see them open up again. Now, in terms of uh, the 28s back there, 
Hello Kitty. If you go to uh, one, they do the same. I'll go over it uh, again a bit in a, in a 28 review because it's a bit cumbersome to do. And uh, yeah, uh, B and O could make that easier. Uh, so you go out of this, then we go to base management. Well, I don't have a subwoofer, so uh, the crossover frequency is kind of uh, pointless in this case, but uh, you can set it if you have a, a subwoofer at your uh, uh, preferred crossover point, meaning you can have whatever you have off the side do more or less and redirect more of the low frequency to the... Uh, to the more capable speakers, uh, it, be that a sub or be that a big speaker off to the side. Then we have uh, filtering. This just means that uh, the full signal goes to the left front. Uh, the center is filtered. That means that uh, more of the, uh, what you call it, low frequency uh, uh will be taken out of the center channel and sent to the more capable speakers like the 28s which aren't uh, or 50s which aren't filtered i'm not in 100 percent sure but i think actually this uh crossover frequency uh, has an effect on that i just let oop, go back i have it set to default uh, so as you can see for me, uh, the center is filtered, left surround which are B and right surround which are BLAB 18s are filtered. Then we have left back uh, which are unfiltered and right back which are BLAB 28s because they're highly capable. And then we have uh, some filtering of the left surround height and the right surround height which are BLAB 17s. Uh, then we go to panning. I have left this on default. Uh, left front is uh, minus 10, center is nothing, uh, right is 10, and it's the same everywhere. This is default. Uh, you can tweak this, but we'll probably go into it in another video. Uh, and then we have redirection levels, and this is, I think, in relationship to the filtering. So uh, nothing is redirected from the 50s. From the center, it's basically minus 100 dB, which is then pumped into the there and or back. Uh, left surround uh, is minus 100, and so it's right, because again, they're BLAB 18s. Left back and uh, right back are BLAB 28s. Again, they're not uh, uh, put down at all. And then we have left and right surround. I've been playing around with this, and I've uh, only done it to minus 25 dB because uh, the BLAP 17s, however small they look, are really good at uh, bass. And uh, therefore, uh, uh, this gives me a nice balance throughout the room where the bass is and there's not really any sort of super bass sweet spot at all anymore. So th then, then we have redirection balance and this is, uh, yeah, uh, standard as well. We can play around with that again in another video and uh, we will uh, experiment with it. Uh, yeah. Um, I'll be back in a sec. So yeah, these are the, the basics of uh, setting uh, your surround sound system up with your BioVision uh, Harmony Avant. The, the menus will roughly look, the menus will be basically identical on uh, BioVision Eclipse Mark 1 and 2 and a BioVision Harmony. Uh, on the BioVision Avant, depending on Mark 1, Mark 2, it'll be very similar, but it'll look a bit different, like the fonts change, but essentially the, the inputs are the same. And uh, yeah, so, this is where I see a lot of people making weird choices, not knowing fully what to do, going full auto, as in like uh, just plugging it in and uh, leaving it as such. Uh, if you tweak around with it, there is a reset button on just about everything. So don't be afraid to play around <coughs> with, with settings. You, you can revert back to factory default for just about everything. So uh, I, I would highly advise you uh, get familiar with this. D don't don't be afraid of like the the, the words you don't understand. Uh, just see how the sound changes. In the end, it's whatever is pleasant to you. 
but you can definitely improve um, amongst the plug and play situation. BNO TVs are amazing at plug and play because they, they know what you plug into it and they'll sort of auto select a bunch of settings. But you can definitely improve on it. And uh, one of the easiest things to get wrong is like the distances in the levels. Because like if, if you have a, a speaker like right here or the one up there, like they don't play at the same volume. And uh, it's very easy to like say, ooh, my 50s or my 28s sound a lot better than X other speaker. But are they at the same level? Check that and you get a much better experience. For music, it's... Unless your room has a massive effect, uh, it doesn't make that much of a change with the with the auto-tuning on, on 50s and that sort of thing. Uh, but if your room does have corners that uh, highly amplify bass, because most corners will, uh, then it might be good to check levels and that sort of thing as well. Um, yeah, so these are a bit of the basics. If you guys like this, leave me a comment down below uh, and let me know if you would like me to go deeper into this. Uh, it's just uh, the beginnings of the of a setup. And uh, if you want to know more about speaker groups and what to do and or play around with other settings and what it sort of does, uh, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to take a look and uh, get more in depth uh, about this. Uh, as for now, uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't yet already. Uh, thanks from my uh, cat and uh, thanks from me for watching. And uh, hope you all have a good one and see you in the next one. Bye.